And welcome back, folks, to more Detective Pikachu. Where Pikachu solves everything, and we, we're just here for the ride. And so, in... Oh. It smells like a potion. Yeah. And it kind of makes my nose burn a little. Oh, you didn't ping the Discord. Uh, someone can do it for me. Then again... Not missing out on much. All right, bread. What do you know about bread? Seems Brad is determined to make me a culprit. Walls can't be the culprit. Why does nobody believe him? It's the same as the accident at PCL. The masses believe the media. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And paid no heed to my words. What about Croidons? It was not I who brought Croidons here. It would be too difficult for Wallace to carry Croidons to the lake all by himself. And even living this close to the lake, it would have been pretty obvious if he had been lugging around a box big enough to fit Croidons. It's a good point. I wonder how the culprit was able to get Croidons to the lake. Do Pokeballs not exist? I don't know. It feels like it's a world where people in Pokemon don't fight anymore. They're just... I wonder what they're up to. Yeah, those are large pieces of wood. Oh, I know. They're going to fix the bridge. But that doesn't explain why they're carrying a flag. Oh, watch where you're going. What's its deal? They're just really focused on their work. Would eh? That's pretty suspicious. What do you think, Tim? It looks like the flags the inhabitants of this island have in front of their houses. Maybe the chief of timber transport can tell us something about the wooden boxes. We should ask him. Burr, about fixing the bridge. Burr. Hey, good luck fixing. Hey, good luck fixing the bridge. We're counting on you. Timber. You're helping out the chief. Pretty impressive that you can carry locks bigger than yourself. Timber. Oh, well, you say you can handle even more. You're pretty strong. I'll give you that. Oh, Pikachu. Tim, go get me my smokes. Hey, Tim. Oh. Tim. Tim, look. Look what it just gave me. A oh. banana? This is delicious. <laughs> Tim. Water. Bring me some water. Pikachu's choking on a banana? <laughs> really makes a think. Oh, the luggage in front of the bridge had the same mark on it. You're right. I wonder what it means. Let's go ask the chief. We can finally start fixing the bridge now. Once the, bri once the bridge is fixed, we'll, we'll be able to investigate the far shore of the lake. Tell us about the flags, huh? Oh, you mean the flags over there? Those are landmarks for timber. What do you mean? If you want Timber to carry the boxes to the right location, you need to leave them there with a flag that matches the mark on the box. Now that you mention it, each flag has a box with the same mark nearby. You only need to guide them once. From the second time onward, all you need is to put the little flag at the right place and they'll figure it out. Pretty smart, huh? Hmm. Hmm. What's on your mind, Pikachu? It could be that the culprit used this whole flag system to have Timber carry Credence to the lake. The Timber Transport? They're definitely strong enough, and besides, nobody would look twice if they were carrying a box through town. 
It does make more sense than to assume Wall somehow managed to sneak the box all the way to the lake by himself. Let's check the with the chief himself. Didn't that didn't we just do that? So what is the plot about? Uh basically, uh Tim, the lead investigator, or so the game wants us to think. Uh, he's looking for his dad who went missing after an incident and the only person who was near his father when he disappeared was Pikachu, but Pikachu has amnesia. I'm sorry, but I have, I don't have any idea who the culprit might be. I mean, you'd think I'd notice if there was some weirdo wandering around with a big box. That figures, how could somebody, how could someone carry a big box without anyone noticing? You're saying that Timber could have carried the box with Crawdont in it? Do you think we're responsible or something? No, of course not. It's impossible anyway. See, Timber would never be able to take a box to the lake. There's no special mark for the lake in the first place. What? If you don't believe me, go check the bulletin board near the docks. It has a chart with all the marks we use, plus a record of all the packages we gathered. All right, let's head to the town then. Okay. Box carrying, eh? Mighty suspicious. It's her. We, we all know it's her. It's obviously her. Is the investigation going well? About Crodont. Some of my buddies have headed to the lake to see if there was really a Crodont there. I swear the lieutenant doesn't know how to give us a break. About Louise. Apparently she's been placed in charge of the tourist resorts project. She definitely seems like she knows what she's doing, doesn't she? Oh, she's like an entrepreneur too. I'm liking Louise more and more. Yes? What's wrong? About Crodont? Crodont was wounding all those Pokemon. Who would do such a thing? Can you think of anyone at all who might be responsible? No, and I can't imagine anyone living on this island who would do something so terrible. About walls. Come to think of it, you knew where Walls lived, didn't you? Is he a friend? Oh, not really. I just visited his place a few times for business reasons. You mean regarding construction of the resort? Yes, I wanted to see if he was willing to part with his property. Which we need to continue with the plan. He definitely wasn't interested. Hmm. We all know it's her. Obviously. Well, Crodont. Spray. Hey, you don't know any Pokemon like that. Well, yeah, it's not native to the island. Spray. Huh? Seems like it's spouting now. It says it, does, it says it doesn't like anyone who gives Louise a hard time. Hey. And uh, the old man who's native to the island doesn't want to leave. And uh, suddenly there's a plot against him. That's weird. So weird. Did something happen? There was a Crawdont at the lake. Never heard of such a Pokemon. I better stay away if that's dangerous. How's the investigation? Oh, Tim, it seems like things are a mess. Do you know him? Yes, he's the son of one of, my, of the boss's friends. We came to the island together. Ah, so that's why you're looking after him. Pikachu, am I being self-conscious or is Blad, Blad, is Blad glaring at me? I bet he's just jealous. Don't worry about it. 
Oh, Tim, you were gone for a while, so I was getting worried. Sorry about that, Amanda. It seems like things are really getting exciting. Is there anything I can do to help? About Crodon. So Crodon was one of was the one hurting all the other Pokemon? Who brought it here? Remember the first rule of detective work. Only Pikachu knows what's actually going on. And he'll tell you who the real culprit is. That's true. Brad is saying that Mr. Walls is the one who brought Crodon to the island. Is it true? I can't say for certain, but I just can't believe Walls is the culprit for all of this. Are you close to Brad? No, I only see him from time to time at crime scenes. He's so friendly and funny. Friendly? Funny? Uh-oh. Are we getting... NTR? What? To think that someone would bring such a dangerous Pokemon to this island. Why would they do such a thing? Azumari. Marill. Rill. And don't be scared as long as you stay away from its territory. Crodon shouldn't attack you either. I heard the fog cleared up. Crodon? I have never heard of it. Is there really such a Pokemon at that lake? No, I'm lying. Is this the record that the chief was talking about? Looks like it. it. Should tell us more about the luggage timber delivered last week. What do you think this is? It's got these marks on it together with names. Looks like a list that tells us where each box is. We Let's try that again. It looks like a list that tells us where each box of luggage goes. The marks on the boxes are for specific houses. The mark up for the lake. It doesn't exist after all. Just just like the chief said, huh? Oh well. And this looks like their collection records. So a record of all the packages they've received here, right? What does it say? Uh, two triangle, one square, three X's and one circle. I wonder what that means. Well, I know what it means, Tim, but I won't tell you. Is this an advertisement for timber transport? Let's see, it says, leave all your luggage to us. Timber, ta timber transport. There's a recruitment ad for timber transport. Well, there was no luggage. There was no luggage that was sent to the lake according to the bulletin board. There wasn't even a mock for the lake at all. Maybe it wasn't timber that carried the box after all. Who knows? Let's check to make sure all the packages were delivered as scheduled anyways. Good idea. We can also see if they noticed anything when they received their packages. If you forget which mark was f If you forget which mark was for which home, just check the flag in front of each house. Okay. There is a lot of wooden boxes piled here. They all have delivery notices on them. They must have come here by boat. You have to check in the back of the manual to find Pikachu's code code. Last week's deliveries. I received two packages last week. Didn't notice anything unusual about my unusual about my stuff, but is there something else? I remember Timber 
were carrying around a big wooden box that day. I wonder what it was, what was in it? What? A big wooden box? Huh. Huh. Yeah, it was, uh, I'd say about double the size of the timber. A box like, a box that size could probably hold croissants. Did you see where Timber delivered that box to? I saw them head to the, in the direction of the bridge. But that's it. Sorry, I'm not more help. Hmm. Let's compare to the testimony. Well, let's compare the testimony to the livery re records. Seems like this package was delivered properly. Thank you, Pikachu. Let's... This were thorough. Oh, what's wrong? I received three packages last week. A camera, a tripod, and whatnot. Oh, that's cool. I just wanted to take pictures of this island's natural splendor before the construction for the resort begins. About the tourist resort. There's some talk of building a resort here in order to really show off the nature. Louise is the head of the project. The nature here is very unique and precious. If a resort were to be built, I imagine we'd get swarm. We'd get a swarm of tourists. Oh, I forgot to do the Pikachu voice. Oh, well. This project might make life easier for us, but we'd also be losing some important things. I'm personally against this whole resort thing. I guess not everyone is thrilled about the plan. So, the number of packages delivered does match the records. You tell him, Pikachu. What? Something happened? I got one delivery last week. I ordered a record player, but it was busted on arrival and I couldn't use it. No, that's too bad. I went to, I went and asked the chief if, to see if he could fix it for me, but he said it would, it would be hard. Louise was saying I'd need to order in some replacement parts. Louise? Louise? She was there too? Hmm. About Louise. Louise was with the chief too? Oh yeah, she was helping him put the stickers on the boxes at the, bo at the dock. Louise is such a kind person. Hmm. Mm. Yes, mm. it was delivered just like it says. Oh, Tim. What in the world is going on? Tell me about Brad. The timber had carried a wooden box. You s the timber had carried a wooden box, you say. If that's true, I'd better tell the lieutenant. So, Dr. Walls is behind all of this? You know I can't divulge sensitive information like that. Hmm? Well, hi. Still investigating, are we? It's no use. I've got this case practically closed. Don't be so sure. There are still a lot of things to look into. You're investigating the case, too? Anything turn up? Yes. There are quite a few things. Oh. Well, good luck, Tim. Spritz! 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 <laughs> What's wrong? Catch a cold? Me! Me neck! Spritz! <laughs> you know what? I think it's Spritzy's scent. It's too strong. It's making you sneeze. Heck? Me neck! <laughs> I guess having a sensitive nose isn't always good. See you around, sneezy pants. Spritz, spritz. What's going on with you, Minette? My goddamn allergies. Yes? About timber transport. You think timber... Carried the box with the crawdunt in it to the lake? That's impossible. What's that? 
because the chief checks each package and puts the stickers on them himself. I helped out that day too, but I didn't see anything odd. Mm. Brad told me all about it. Who would have thought Walls would be the culprit? That's not certain yet, but it is true that he caused some kind of problem in the past, right? No wonder everyone's so suspicious of him. Ah, uh, yes. Well, he was a problem in the past, and thus he's a problem in the future. What? Ah, uh, yes. It could be possible that Walls had the timber carry the wooden box. I'll have my men look into it immediately. I swear, he really wants Walls to be the culprit, doesn't he? Probably gets a kickback from the uh, resort, that's why. What did you tell Louise? You should stop telling everyone Walls is the culprit. What are you talking about? It's my duty as a police officer to help citizens and remove any uncertainties that they might have. Huh. He doesn't even have any evidence. Just you wait. We'll get to the bottom of things. <laughs> Mr. Walls, the world is not forgiving of those who have made mistakes. I didn't receive any packages last week. I wasn't expecting one either, since I hadn't ordered anything. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? How many? That's not the same number that's in the records. So what do you think is going on? You know damn well. Checked all the marks. Mm. And it appears that Walls is missing one package. We really should look into that. According to the records, there was one box that was for Walls, but where has it gone? Maybe Crodent came in that missing box. Who knows? Let's go see what Walls and the Chief have to say before we come to any conclusions. <sighs> According to the records, there was one box to be delivered to you, Dr. Walls. You say that, but the fact remains that no box was delivered to me. Maybe the Chief made a mistake. This is getting us nowhere. Maybe we should double check with the, with the Chief. Come on, Pikachu. Oh, what's going on, Pikachu? All right, Maynetric. You know what to do, don't you? Oh, uh, no, not my hat. Uh, you were supposed to fetch. So bad. I think it's fair to say at this point, everyone's a suspect. That is very true. It could be anyone. Even you. Indeed we have. Brett is the first one to cross. About the missing package. What? A package addressed to Mr. Walls has gone missing? Yes, actually, Walls said he wasn't expecting a package at all. Hmm. Maybe I messed up with the names in my records. I sure wish I could check with the timber. Check with timber about this. I can do that. I'll get the info in no time. We recorded all the luggage that came in by boat last week in our records. Louise helped me with the sorting. So there shouldn't be any mistakes or errors. Seems it would be difficult to get Timber to carry a box without the two of them noticing. Hmm, the culprit could have used some kind of trick. Let's, let's ask them about the sorting process. Hmm. Oh, she helped me out with sticking the marks onto all the packages and boxes. Did anything strike you during the whole process? Hmm, now that you mention it, Louise didn't have that smell she usually has. <gasps> what smell? Well, you see, just after we finished putting everything on record, I noticed I'd forgotten something in my office. I needed to get it. So you left the storage area. 
Yeah, only for a few minutes. Thing is, when I got back, Louise didn't have her usual scent anymore. It was weird. The scent that disappeared. Is this related to the case in some way? Yes, Pikachu. Yes. You know this. Dude. Oh, oh, that smell. Let's never do that again. So you're doing, you're done fixing the bridge. It must have been a lot of work. There's a few things that we'd like to ask you. Do you have some time? Burr? Burr. There wasn't anything for walls. But the records show there was one delivery. Burr. Well, watch it with that log. No need to get so defensive. We're not doubting you. In that case, did you carry any kind of box or anything to the lake? Burr. Hmm, it says they did carry a box with a donut-like mark on it. Do they mean like a ring? I don't remember seeing a mark like that anywhere. Hey, what do you mean uh, by a donut mark? I don't see... I don't see it on the mark chart. Burr. Hey, calm down. I said we're not doubting you or anything. We might have better luck just going to the lake ourselves. Hey, got any donuts? I'm starving. Oh, it's Phoebus. What up, Phoebe? You came chasing after Crawdont. Man, you don't know when to quit, do you? Phoebe. Huh? Are you looking for someone? Milo isn't here right now. You see, one of Milo's friends is being accused of bringing Crawdont here. Phoebe? We're, wor we're worried about Milo and his friend, too. I hope we can clear things up soon. Phoebe. Phoebe. Thanks. If we need someone to have a look underwater, I'll let you know. Phoebe. What? What was that? You saw something strange this, just now? What's this strange thing? Phoebe. Phoebe. Whoa. Well, that's definitely a piece of wood. You went and found this for us? Thanks, Viba. It's a piece of wood? How about the piece of wood? Viba. Yeah, this piece of wood might be useful for our investigation. That's Fletch. Fletchling. Where are you going? Hey, Fletchling, what are you doing here? Fletch. Helping with the investigation? Well, thanks. Fletch. You poked a dirty rag that was floating in the in the lake, but it turned out to be a Pokemon. Maybe it's talking about Phoebus. Fletch. Yeah, gave it some medicinal herbs as an apology for poking it. Come to think of it, Wall said the reason he was coming to the lake was to gather ingredients for his potions. What? Well, look who it is. Your timing is perfect. It seems Dr. Walls is indeed the culprit. Uh, they say there's conclusive evidence. Evidence that we pulled out of the lake. Is that? Yes. It's the symbol for Dr. Wall's home. This proves beyond a doubt that he brought the Crawdont to the lake. And it's all I needed to see. But why? 
Tim. Time to accept the truth, Amanda. It's too soon to give up. Let's keep investigating. Are you telling Pikachu? Walls won't be able to feign innocence once he sees this. Seems like I've won our little contest, eh, Mr. Detective? Does this guy go out of his way to be a jerk? What? This is all the evidence we've collected at the lake. You're free to look at any of it, but please don't remove anything. Just looks like a bunch of trash. It's too early to it's too early to decide that, Tim. Come on, let's have a look. Uh, wait a minute. I wonder what these wooden chunks are. There's some white paint on the back. Well, better make a note of it anyway. wonder what this plate was for. Pretty dirty, that's for sure. Soccer ball? Maybe somebody forgot it here. It may have something to do with the case. I'll make a record of it for now. Why was a circle mark sticker at the lake? Cor according to walls in the timber. There was never any package for walls. There must have been some kind of trick or something. Oh, it's a donut shape. See? Looks like a piece of wood, nothing special about it. Well, hold on, Pikachu, let me flip it. Ah, oh, the white paint. Let's make a note of it. It's like some sort of box. It's if it's busted up, then it must have been pretty big. This could have been the box Crawdon was brought in. Hmm. All these scattered wood chunks and the white paint. Could this be? What are you thinking, Pikachu? There's something about these wood pieces? Yeah, I was thinking. Couldn't these wooden pieces be part of the box Crawdon was brought in? The one with the donut mark? That's right. Each one of these white paint, each one of, each one has this white paint on it, right? If we fit the pieces together, maybe we'll make a donut mark. Maybe we should give it a try. I hope it's a Boston cream donut. So this game opened up and lets you handle some cases by your own? <laughs> hey, Tim. Tim. Hi, Tim. It's about time to open up the case notes. Oh, is it time already? How can we make a donut mark? We're hoping to solve this. We'll need all the clues gathered by the police. Let's go have a look. Yeah, well, that's that's what I was talking about. According to the timber, they did carry a box with a donut mark on it, but I didn't see one, not on the list. Let's go to the lake and double check. Do you think in the Japanese version it's called an onigiri mark? Yes. Hamburger mark. This doesn't look good for Mr. Walls, but if you if you think he didn't do it, I'll trust you, Tim. Don't give up. I didn't see any around here, but the boss always says it's good to flip your thinking sometimes. Flip my thinking. That's right, the police haven't found any 
police haven't found anything, even though they've searched high and low, then maybe what you're looking for is somewhere we simply can't look. The island finally can have some peace. The mark, this mark is the one used for the wall's home. Seems that he was the one who brought Crotto to the island after all. We've searched this area thoroughly, but this is all we, we found. They'll do in your own investigation, huh? The sticker was found near the wooden box. Maybe Walls forgot to pick it up. Why was the sticker just left lying around, I wonder? Pieces of wood with paint on them. I didn't see any around here. of a monument. Beep. Beba. Yeah, with this piece of wood, we should be able to help out Milo's friend. Milo. Let me instruct you on some detective tips. Ready? Detective tip number 24. Dick Dictum. Always smile because a scowling face could be the sign of a small heart. Remember that. We're missing one piece of wood. No, we got all of the pieces of wood. What? Oh. Just in case we need that. So, if randomly you press on the Pikachu, the Pikachu mark, they'll do some we'll random thing. This. We'll need all the clues gathered by the police. Let's go have a look. Did I miss them? <laughs> Check the evidence. Make the donut mark. Let's see if we can make a donut mark by fitting the wooden pieces together. I bet you we can. Of course we can, Pikachu. Of course we can. You know this. I know this. Wait a minute. Do you think that's right? I don't know, Pikachu. You tell me. All right. This must be the original mark. Doesn't look like a donut, though. Wait, the sticker! Don't you get it, Pikachu? Up. I'll bet if we combine that clue with this mark, we can make a donut mark. We were right. All we had to do was place the sticker in the middle of the circle mark. Then it becomes a ring. Now it makes sense. This is what the timber were calling a donut mark all along. <gasps> it was made using two stickers. We finally figured out the trick the culprit used. Yeah. The culprit first mailed the box containing Crawdon to the island as a package for walls. And of course, the chief would put a circle mark sticker on it and record it as a delivery for walls. That's right. But when the culprit changed the sticker to the ring mark when the chief wasn't looking, and then the timber carried it to the lake, but the lake isn't on the charts of destinations. 
In order to get the box delivered properly, someone needed to guide the timber using a flag with the ring box. But there wasn't any flag in the evidence the police collected. Don't worry, Tim. I'm sure the timber will show us where the flag is. Hey, Tim. What are you trying to do standing in front of Wall's house? I'm about to have the timber guide me to a certain place. Hopefully, this will let me prove Wall's innocence once and for all. What? In that case, I'm going with you. Looks like we're all ready. Well, then let's get going, Timber. Timber. Follow them, or can we just? Timber, what's wrong? They say their goal is up ahead. Crawdont. You mean past Crawdont? If we search that area, I'll bet we'd find some evidence. Wait! Milo! So what was your plan? He's dead! Uh, are you alright? <gasps> what? What's he best is evolving! It's like a Saiyan. Peepas, that was amazing! <laughs> I mean, he's not a Phoebus anymore. That Phoebus. Yep, Phoebus evolved into Milotic. So, when Pokemon evolve, do they keep their name? Like, if a Phoebus evolved into a Milotic, is it called Milotic or is it called Phoebus? Hey, Timmy! Are you really Phoebus? Well, you're definitely a lot more handsome now. Milo. See, he's not even saying Phoebus anymore. Milo, Milo. Seems like your eagerness hasn't gone away, though. Milo is safe and sound thanks to you, Milo Tick. Milo. You two definitely keep us on our toes, that's for sure. Oh, I forgot to do the Pikachu voice. Hey, Tim. No one would ever guess you were once a Feebass. You know, anyone can change. Pokemon and people. I mean, if they really want to. <laughs> when are you going to evolve? Only if I really want to. Pikachu, look the flag! It has the ring mark on it. This must be the flag the culprit used to guide the timber. The missing delivery. The ring-shaped mark. Uh, the only one who could have done those things in that amount of time. Mm. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Could it be? <gasps> <gasps> Smells like ass. A bolt of brilliance! <laughs> I 
I know the culprit. All right, Pikachu. Let's book him. The scent left on the flag must belong to that person. We need to find out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't have guessed that Phoebus would evolve into that Pokemon. When I was a kid, I was drowned in the lake. The Pokemon that saved me was Milotic. I'm glad I get to see it again. Thanks to it, you can search inside the ruins. About the flag with the ring mark. Found the ring mark flag. Yes, all that is left is to figure out who sent is the one who left it, is the one left on the flag. And for that, we need its help. Let's get moving, Tim. Who could it be? The scent? Whomst? Whoa. Certainly calmed down quite a bit. It says, it says Milotic helped settle its nerves. Now it just wants to go home. It was dragged here against its will by the culprit, right? Maybe it was just scared too. Raw. Seems like it's enamored with Milo Milotic. Even the tyrant of the lake can't resist the beauty of Milotic, huh? Hey, have you seen this flag before? Raw. It says it doesn't know. When it was captured, it was asleep and brought here against its will. What? How's the investigation? Do you need help with anything? It was certainly surprising to see Milotic suddenly appear, but it certainly makes me feel peaceful looking at it. It really does. Who would have thought that Phoebus could evolve into such a beautiful Pokemon? The culprit used this flag to guide the timber. I see. But who would do such a thing? The answer will be clear enough once we check the scent that was left on the flag. Who? Who was it? Was it you, Banana Breath? <laughs> P.U. It seems like it doesn't know much about Crodons. It's a po it's a Pokemon that never ex that's never existed on this island before, so it's not surprising. Tell me we're near the end. No, we're not even halfway. Medic. So Brad's in Wall's house. I hope nothing bad happens. Hey, man, Manatrick, can you tell who this smell belongs to? He's gonna sneeze. <gasps> Did you see that, Tim? Manatrick sneezed. Oh my God! Everything's clear thanks to Manatrick. Tim, gather, uh, gather everyone involved. Here they come. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming here. Tim, I know what you're going to tell us. You figured out who the culprit is. <laughs> <laughs> we already know who the culprit is. All evidence points to Dr. Walls. <sighs> I'll tell you what I discovered. The one who had Crodont carried to the lake is... Go on. Tell him, Tim. <gasps> it was Louise. You, Louise, you're the culprit. What? That's just a bunch of nonsense. Is this your idea of a joke? Do you have any proof? Of course we do. Show her, Tim. The flag with the ring mark. Proof? Right here is the proof. You can't handle the proof. What is that? 
It's just the flag for timber transport. Yes, that's true. The culprit used this flag and had Timber carry the box with Crawdont inside. Hmm. If that's the case, then what about this sticker? If you the idiot! Are correct, then the box would have a ring-shaped mark on it, am I right? Guess what? No such mark has been found. Obviously he's right, and you're completely wrong. He's wrong. The sticker was a trick just to frame Dr. Walls. A trick? As a matter of fact, a ring-shaped sticker doesn't exist. It never has. It was created by her. She used the sticker from Dr. Wall's house and combined it with something she made. Right on, Tim. You tell him. Uh... What did Luis prepare? Uh... The box? We found this down at the lake. It's a piece of a wooden box. You can see there's a shape that's been painted on it with some white paint. Huh? What is that shape? Well, let me tell you. When we fit the white parts together. <gasps> what? It recreates this symbol. Now, if I put this sticker on top. No! Mark. No! That's right. Timber thought the mark was new, and they simply followed the flag that they saw had the same mark on it. Could it be? Hard to comprehend. How could someone as savvy as myself fall into a trap? And when the boxes came to the dock, you were there helping the Chief of Timber Transport, weren't you, Louise? Easy, right? Because all you had to do was change the stickers. Of course, while no one was looking. <laughs> You're right, I could have done that. But how could I possibly have had the time to guide the timber all the way to the lake? Oh yeah, that's the easy part. The chief said while you were sticking marks on the boxes, he had to return to his office and get something that he forgot. True, but he was only gone for a few minutes. Not nearly enough time for me to go to the lake and back. Wrong. All you needed was- Because it wasn't you. A sufficient amount of time for you to send a signal out, right? What are you talking about? Who would I be signaling to? Now that's easy. There's only one possibility. It was Spritzy. You signaled to Spritzy. Spritz, Spritz? What? Spritzy? That's right. And here's the proof. <laughs> the stank. Maynetra, the flag makes you sneeze? That's because Spritzy's scent has soaked into this flag, which means the culprit used Spritzy to guide the timber. <laughs> Dr. Walls is innocent? What? Oh, no. I have a headache. So, Louise, all you had to Why'd do, you do it? Spritzy. There was plenty of time while the chief wasn't looking. And that means your alibi doesn't hold up. <laughs> that's, that's right. It was me. It was me all along. Why would she want to do something like that? For the tourist resort she wants to build. Wasn't it? You needed to get the land for it. So you framed Dr. Walls, didn't you? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Why is that so wrong? Building that resort is my dream. I did what I had to in order for it to succeed. How could you do that? You caused trouble for the Pokemon and Dr. Walls! Calm down. It's all right, Milo. The only person you thought about was yourself. That's sad. You'll soon regret that. It's over now, Louise. Come with me. Damn. Wasn't for you meddling kids. <laughs> too bad. She just got a little too carried away. Lesson learned. Too bad she had a fine ass. You know what I'm saying, Tim? Pikachu. Walls was innocent after all. So now would be a good time to ask him about R. <laughs> about R? What, what are we talking about? R. Dr. Walls, I was wondering if you could tell Pikachu and me about R. 
Yes, of course I can. It's the least I can do for clearing my name. Hmm, you know what? Come to think about it, this makes you the second person to ask me about R. Yeah? I believe it was about two months ago. A man asked me the same thing. And you know, I recall he had a Pikachu with him too, just like you. No way. That must have been my father. <gasps> Dad! I'm trying to find him. That's why I came to ask what you know about R. Mm. Stop I molesting me. This means a lot. All right, I'll tell you everything I know. Yeah. What do you know about R? About two months ago, a man together with a Pikachu came to visit me. He asked me about R, but I chased him away without telling him anything. So Harry did know about R. Yeah, and that explains why this mysterious person was giving Carlos orders wanted him out of the way. R was supposed to be a miracle drug, an all-purpose medicine for Pokemon. Originally, we were going to use a certain Pokemon cells to help create it. But what Pokemon? A certain Pokemon? <laughs> I was right! It was Mew! Yes, the Pokemon named Mew. It's got the DNA of all the Pokemon. Pokemon. That kind of Pokemon really exists? But somehow there was a mistake. The cells we actually used belonged to a Pokemon called Mewtwo. What? Two, a two Mew? A mysterious Pokemon created through the power of science. It is said to have the Berserk Gene. I suspect that is why Pokemon become violent after being exposed to R. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about this Carlos. He must have entered PCL just after I left. I see. Is there anyone else who might know about R besides you and Carlos? Well, yes, I actually had one lab assistant. We dropped out of touch since I left PCL, so I don't know what's become of him. Wall's former lab assistant, eh? Sounds like someone we should look into. You know, I remember something now. Your father said he was investigating Fine Park. Fine Park? It's an amusement park in Rhyme City. There was some sort of trouble there about a year ago. And I think it was, it's been closed since. What do you mean some sort of trouble? Well, I don't know the details, but I heard that Pokemon suddenly, suddenly went wild during a parade. Pokemon gone wild? 13, I've got that tape. If, if, I wonder if it's got anything to do with R. I'd bet it, I'd bet anything that it does. We should go check it out. Leaving the island now? Yes, thank you very much for your testimony. No, oh, I should be the one saying thanks. You've inspired me to believe in people one more time. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Are you streaming it next? No. That's for L L and S. Well, please take care of please take care, Dr. Walls. Well then, let's head on home. Before we do, we should say hi we should go say hi to Milo. We should say go say bye. Please do. The boy sees you as a friend, and I'm sure he'll be happy you stopped by. Once we're done saying our goodbyes, let's head to the docks. We need to ride the boat to get back, unfortunately. Achoo! We'll go, we'll go say bye to my low trick as well. No longer Phoebus.
Oh, he's not even there. Oh, he is there. Uh-huh. But you're leaving already. You should just solve the case. You should hang around a bit more. Sorry, but we're keeping people waiting. I'll come back again with Pikachu. Don't worry. That had better be a promise. If you were a Pokemon, what would be the one thing you would be able to say? Well, if I were a Pokemon, you remember Pokemon the card game? The big Pikachu? The huge Pikachu, giant Pikachu? That would be me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would say as a Pokemon. It is what it is. Thanks for helping out on our investigation, Milo. Don't mention it. And thanks for clearing Wall's names too. In fact, that giant Pokemon, that giant Pikachu was our thumbnail for Pokemon the card game. I hope you'll find your dad soon, Tim. You take care too, Pikachu. You got it. See you around, kid. You would probably say kiddo though. See you around, kiddo. I didn't expect Phoebus to evolve into Milotic. No kidding. It just became so majestic all of a sudden. Hopefully I'll be able to evolve into a Pokemon Ranger soon. That's not how it works, Milo. You, you need to, you know, study and pass your license for that. Yeah, you do your best. How's the game? So anyways, about Crodent. I haven't seen Crodent anywhere. Do you know where it's gone to? Oh yeah, Brad took it with him. What Brad did? He said since the case to solve, we found the true culprit. He'll take it back to its home. Oh, I see. That's good to hear. Well, I guess he has some redeeming qualities. So, uh, yeah, to be honest, uh, it's, it's basically a visual novel about Pikachu. You helped us out a huge amount. We wouldn't have been able to solve this case without you, Milo Tech. Thank you so much, Milo. Yeah, we'll definitely come again. When we do, you and Milo have to show us around the island. And I get to do gruff Pikachu voice or Mario voice, either way. Milo, Milo. It says it'll keep the link safe together with Milo. Seems like they'll, they've been able to become good friends. See you later. I mean, Pikachu was always talking. We just couldn't understand him, but now we can. He speaks like a gruff New Yorker, which is basically, you know, the best voice you could ever have as a detective. Don't care about these people. I'm not saying goodbye to them. Say goodbye to you. Heading back, well, thanks for helping us out. So Louise used us to cause all the trouble, huh? I'd be lying if I, if I said I didn't feel a little responsible. But we're going to keep on carrying luggage around for the folks on this island. I'm sure everyone will be grateful, sir. Let's go home. Great job, Tim. I'm glad the case has finally been closed. It's because you never gave up that Mr. Wallace is a free man, Tim. You're gonna make a great detective. I just know it. Oh, thank you very much, Amanda. Are you sure you're done here? I can get the boat ready if you're ready to go. Yes. Let's head out. We could, we put Kapushi Island behind us. Pikachu?
man. Lightning bolts. Oh, I just had that dream again. But somehow it felt different from before. Are you okay, Pikachu? Were you having a bad dream? Maybe he just doesn't like boats. I hope I haven't scared him. Nah, takes more than your driving to scare me. Maybe I'm just getting old. Hey, women driving, am I right, Dim? Oh, Pikachu. Fine Park. My dad was investigating Fine Park, the amusement park that was closed down. When we heard that from walls, we headed, we decided to head there. Let's move it, Tim. Here. A detective's got to be quick on his feet. Oh, there you are. Mako, Amelia. What are you doing here? Well, we happen to be in your neighborhood, so we stopped to say hi. We're here scouting for our next shoot. The Pokemon Carnival, of course. We just heard about a carnival. Carnival. What Pablo was excited about. It's Roger Clifford, TV producer. Mm, let me guess. Tim, right? Yeah. Oh, this is Mr. Clifford, our boss. Nice to meet you. Roger Clifford. Oh. Nice to meet you, too. These two won't stop talking about you. They say you're a great detective. Oh, man. It's a, it's a kooky music. Right. I heard you apprehended the culprit at PCL with some pretty amazing detective work. I certainly wish I was there for the scoop. That was nothing so dramatic. Ha! Ah. No need to be so humble. You helped out these two quite a bit. Thanks. They make a great team. Amelia is calmer and level-headed, and Mako is all about action. They balance each other out nicely. Sounds like he thinks highly of both of them. What exactly do you mean when you say you're surveying the carnival area? We actually explore the scene and decide the best way to keep pace with the parade while we film it. So you have a basic idea before the event starts? Exactly! Preparation is very important for this kind of thing, especially this year. GNN was, was able to get exclusive rights to cover the carnival. So we need to do our best. Hello, Tim. About Roger. He's our boss. I admire him quite a bit. He's always helping me out with everything. In fact, he's the one who taught me the basics of journalism and reporting. The preparation is going to be tough, but I hope our show can help people enjoy the carnival. I'll be looking forward to it. How you've been? He's the producer at GNN. One of the best we have. GNN's ratings have jumped up since he joined the company. He's even managed to impress our CEO. Sounds like he's an amazing guy. Everyone in Rhyme City is talking about the carnival right now. I'm so excited to be able to report on it. What's up? But I don't want to talk to you. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Somebody you know, Tim? Was saying something about doing a quick check for a photo shoot or something. He's from GNN. He said there's he's there to do some surveying for the Pokemon Carnival. Wow. You seem to know everyone, Tim. And since you started coming here, it feels like I've been getting more customers too. You must bring good luck. Oh, I'm sure that's just your imagination. Those two are new faces. Don't think they've been here before. Oh, I hope they like my little cafe. I'm sure they'll fall in love with this place. Pablo's coffee is the best there is. Yeah, I like the coffee here too. 
Our dance practice is going great. Say, do you want me to teach you some moves, Tim? <laughs> some moves, Tim? No, no, I'm good. Thanks for the offer, though. Oh, come on. You should learn a dance move or two. Any detective worth his salt knows how to dance. I'm sure I've never heard that before. Yeah? No, 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 not you. Why, hello, we meet again. The whole city is starting to get ready for it. I'm so excited. He even makes his desserts from scratch. I can't decide which one I want to try today. Ah, uh, well, in that case, let, let the fine lady know that I recommend the cheesecake with the hi-hat blend. Yeah, yeah. Come on, tell her. <laughs> Ludi Cola. Ludi. Yeah, I hope Roger and company take a liking to Pablo's food and coffee, too. What about Mako and Amelia? Ludi. She says today is turning out to be a really busy day with all those customers coming in. I bet Pablo really appreciates having your help in that case, Ludicolo. About the Pokemon Carnival. Ludicolo. Oh, so you're keeping up with your dance practice, huh? I can't slack off either then. What, do I? You're not part of the... Like, All right, I got nothing else to say. See ya. See ya, idiots. Okay, we're gonna head out. Oh, already? Yeah, another investigation. All right, where are you going? To find Park. That park was closed due to an accident. I heard about that. Wow, what a strange coincidence. We covered it. That accident was a big scoop. What? You and Amelia? Seriously? That's right. We were lucky, weren't we, Amelia? Yeah. Hey, this could be useful. Right, Tim? Yeah. Amelia, do you think we could take a look at the video you shot? I don't know. Is it okay, Mr. Clifford? Of course it is. However, today we're actually pretty busy. How about tomorrow? Great, thank you. Perfect. Take care. See you tomorrow at GNN. Yes, sir. We're going to GNN? Well, he sure was a nice guy. Certainly a big difference from that Brad guy, if you ask me. Get over that, Pikachu. Anyway, the video has to wait until tomorrow, so let's check out the scene for ourselves. Yeah, let's go. So we headed to the fine park, and a cold rain started to fall. I feel like Tim is gaining female points, despite Pikachu being the reason why Tim is good. That's true. But who would date a Pokemon? Looks no, don't say it. Abandoned. Yeah, it sure does. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's that? More ghosts? A spoon? Uh oh. Alakazam? Is that a spoon? Now why in the world? Oh my god! I know that Pokemon! Jeez, you scared me. Anyway, we're here to investigate an accident that happened here a while back. Know anything about that? Kazam! Oh, you'll call some Pokemon that can tell us stuff? That's so great! You're nicer than you look, you know? <laughs> Trash Hunter. There you are. They must also known as Shadow. Well, should we interview the witnesses? Investigate the park. We should really talk to the Pokemon in the amusement park first. Oh, okay. Hey, Tim! Tim! Hey, Tim. You know why we're here, right? 
course, we're here to learn more about the accident that happened a year ago. Right, apparently Pokemon went suddenly went berserk during a parade. The police figured it was some kind of accident, but it seems like Harry thought there was more to it than that. My dad was originally investigating all the recent Pokemon incidents, right? Did the accident here have something to do with those incidents as well? Who knows? If we investigate the accident, we should be able to figure that out. Let's ask that Pokemon, the Pokemon around here, about what exactly happened on the day of the accident. That's definitely one form of investigation only we can do. Kazam. Hey, Gen 1 Pokemon, I know them. Thanks for earlier. Now we can finally talk to the Pokemon that live here. Kazam. Don't hurt anyone. What do you mean? Kazam. Oh, I see. You don't st you still don't fully trust people. What? But why? Because of the accident? Yeah, apparently after the accident, a lot of the Pokemon that used to live here were taken away somewhere. Alakazam and the other Pokemon we saw all escaped being captured so that they could keep living here. So that's why they were hiding from us. Kazam saying it also wants to know the truth behind the accident that's why it's helping us can you tell us what happened during the parade what was the situation yes we should ask the others oh you weren't part of the parade huh because i um, i see you were part of a performance at the diff at a different theme park so you weren't here Yes. When you got back, Charizard was already unconscious on the ground, huh? You say you might have been able to help if you had been around? Don't overthink it. Let bygones be bygones. And cut. Oh, it ran away. Hmm. It's, it seems like it's really cautious. We're not going to be able to talk to it like this. I wonder if there's some way we can get it to trust us. Even if it takes some time. Loud! 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 Loud? Loud? Wah! I can feel my ears ringing. That's quite a voice you got. About the accident at the fine park. We're doing an investigation on the accident. Were you part of the parade? Loud. You said you say you were nearby? I know this might be painful to think back on. But do you think you could tell us what exactly happened? Loudred. Huh. So Charizard suddenly went wild, huh? Even though Up until then it looked like it was having fun? Loud. Loud. And that's what caused everyone to panic and try to escape. And made the whole park fall into chaos, huh? Loud. There was something off about Charizard when it suddenly went wild. I'd like to speak with Charizard. Do you know where he is? L Loudred. Oh. Some people took it away, huh? He was wild in Trubbish. Go oh, hey. You've got some trash taken out of there. Uh, one second, I can push it back in. Trub. Uh, don't mention it. So I think you live here too. Trub. Oh, I see. You recently moved in here because you wanted to find some trash, some more trash, huh? Trub. Yeah, if you knew, you wouldn't know about the accident, I guess. Rubbish. You heard it was horrible. Oh. Some of the other Pokemon here were talking about it, huh? Good 
There's a barricade here, but it looks like we can get past it and head further in. Yeah, but we still got some things to check in this area. The trash cans are empty. Trubbish might have made off with the trash. They're really completely empty. The coffee cup ride has definitely seen some better days. Yeah, it looks like it's been left as they were ever since the park closed down. Well, it's not like we're gonna drink coffee out of these cups or anything, so I doubt it has anything to do with the incident either. Thank you, Pikachu. Was this some sort of decoration, you think? Yeah, it looks like a sign of some kind. It fell down and it's just had, it's been left like that. Are they called the coffee cups or the cups? Oh, it's a bird. Crow. There's a Murkrow here. Yeah, and it looks just as grumpy as the other one. Well, let's see what it has to say. Crow. <laughs> we found the culprit. That black feather. It remembers seeing the parade from the sky, but it doesn't remember much about it. What, nothing at all? It seemed a bit noisy, but apparently Murkrow, huh. but apparently the Murkrow, it was a Wednesday, but a usual day, Murkrow, it lived in another area in those days, and just thought of an amusement, just thought of amusement box as nosy to begin with, uh, huh, I guess it has different, it has a different perspective on things compared to us. I think Pikachu would refer to them as C cups. Ooh, is this food for the Pokemon? It still looks fresh. Maybe somebody is trying to help out the Pokemon here. Oh, Pikachu. I don't think we can go beyond here. Would you look at that? The bench is completely destroyed. And the light post is all bent too. It must have been a terrible rampage to have caused damage like this. Yeah, this area seems the most beat up. I didn't even read the rest. This is where most, this must be where the Pokemon stayed the longest. I know, right? Oh, the humanity. Well, if someone's trying to feed the, the Pokemon, is it you? What's this? The asphalt is all peeled up. Do you think it was caused by the accident? It looks too dangerous to go past here. Smurgle? Murgle. The hell is that? Murgle. Wow, Murgle. you certainly look depressed. Still thinking about the accident? Murgle. It's Gen 2. A Gen 2 many. Murgle. Do you think you can tell us what you know? We may be able to help Murgle. you out. Smear. Huh, no good. It's like it's not even noticing that we're here. What could be troubling it so much? Is it the Charizard? The painting is all broken up. 
did the accident cause this too? I don't know, but it seems possible that the Pokemon that went wild caused the damage. Hey, Tim! Tim! We've asked all, just about all the Pokemon here know about the accident. It's a good time to organize what we found out. Yeah, we know what kind of accident it was now. We've been told the Pokemon suddenly went wild during the parade, but the cause of it all was Charizard. That's right. Charizard was the first to go on a rampage. What could have happened to Charizard? We've seen Pokemon suddenly become violent in other incidents too, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Lately, in Litwick Cave, and Trevenant at PCL, right? Exactly. What's more, we went to the cave and PCL because we were following clues left by my dad. Since we know he was also looking into Fine Park, it's probably some connection there. In other words, the cause of Charizard's sudden outrage could be something we know. What caused Charizard to go on a rampage? The Pokemon ran away. It didn't want to be in the parade. It was given R. It was given X. It was stressed out. That's right. Ah, oh, may be the cause of Charizard suddenly going wild. We should ask about how Charizard was on the day of the accident. Murgle. Murgle. Hey, do you think you know you could? Do you think you could tell us what you know? Summer. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to bring back bad memories. I guess it's still thinking about the accident. Were you in charge of something at the park too? Summer. Hmm. You were painting the you were painting the wall. I mean, you mean the painting on this wall? It's all in pieces now. Was it busted up during the accident? Smurgle. What? Is it crying? It seems heartbroken that its mural is all busted up. I wonder if there's some way we can cheer it up. Hey, We're not gonna get much out of Smurgle at like this. No kidding, huh? I know, what about the barrel? Maybe if we fix it, I'll cheer Smur Smurgle up a bit. Oh, good idea. It seems like the fragments are all still lying around. Maybe we can actually fix it up. We should really fix that mural. So why don't we head over there now? Okay. I know, let's fix it up. Why don't we go ahead and fix this mural? We can gather up all the shards and fit them in. No, that ain't it. Yeah. Yes, that's right. He fixed the mural. Have a look, we fixed up the mural for you. Smurgle. Yeah, surprise, huh? No need to thank us. How do we fit it back in? We don't have any glue or 
cement, whatever, tape. No need to thank us. We just we just wanted to cheer you up. Seems like it worked too. This mural must mean a lot. Summer. It has everyone on it. Oh, it's a painting of the fine park before the accident. That's why it shows the Pokemon we haven't seen. Hey, can you tell us about the Pokemon in the mural? Tell us about Charizard. That's a pretty impressive Pokemon. Is that Charizard? Smur, Smurgle, Smur. All right, all right, calm down a little bit. Yeah, barely, this is Charizard. Smirgle says Charizard was always with his friends. It looked really cool when it flew through the sky. Sounds like Charizard was really popular with the Pokemon here too. It must have been R that made it go wild. What's this Pokemon called? Smurgle. Its name is Linen, apparently. It's a bit of a troublemaker, but Smurgle says it's got it got along well with Charizard. Linen still lives in this park, waiting for Charizard to come back. That's a Pokemon, right? It has a flower growing on its head. Smear. Oh, they're Skipbloom. Staying here reminded them too much of when things were more lively. Made them feel lonely. They've left for someone somewhere else, apparently. I've never seen that Pokemon. Oh, he's also a Gen 1-er. He knew about Charizard, but that's the only thing. <laughs> that's the only thing he knew. He's a Gen 1-er. Tim is basically me. For real, for real. Smurgle. That is, uh, th this is Hoppip. Apparently, he was blown away by the wind during the accident. What? Is it okay? Smear. It says it'll come back when the spring breeze starts blowing through again. Apparently, they became really wilted and sad after the accident, and they just went off to somewhere else one day. Oh, all right. All right, we found out about all the Pokemon that were part of the mural. Seems like there was a lot more Pokemon here before the park closed down. I wish we could talk to all of them. Well, it looks like we'll be able to talk to at least one Pokemon that knew Charizard well. Have you figured out which one? Uh... N no? Linden? That's right, Linden. Linden's still around here, apparently. And it was good friends with Charizard. If there's anyone who can help us, it's Linton. Let's go find him. He could be hiding and he could be hiding somewhere. If you notice anywhere Linton could be, let me know. You know how to get my attention, right? It's the same as when you notice one of my prompts. Pro. Bro, you had a fight with Charizard the day before the accident? What happened? Murkrow, they got angry when you tried to take some of the shiny things the guests were wearing. Sounds like more of a scolding than a fight. Bro, it's pretty comfortable since there are no po there's no people trying to chase you away, huh? You don't under you don't understand why all the other Pokemon look so depressed. 
Well, I mean, people shunned them and they lost a bunch of friends. Murkrow. It means more space for everyone. No sympathy, eh? I guess different Pokemon have different perspectives. I'm starting to give a southern accent. Well, don't dare mention its name around you. Well, what happened between you two? Crow? Murkrow? You tried to burn your treasure? When all, when all you did was poke Charizard a little? Sounds like you went asking for trouble. Crow. Well, no sign of remorse or anything on Murkrow's part. It's saying, it's saying the Litten's getting what it deserves today, since it hates the rain. It doesn't like the rain. Maybe it's hiding somewhere it can stay dry. Let's go see if we can find it. Is it literally here? Hey, Tim! Tim. This looks just like a stuffed toy. <laughs> oh, getting molested. I guess looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, hey, Tim. Looks like it's willing to talk to us. Good. Sorry to have scared you earlier. Stuff. Ah, finally you trust us. Of course, we're not going to try and try. We're not going to try and catch you or anything. I'm glad that little mi misunderstanding got resolved. Stuff. You were part of the per you were part of the parade too, huh? What was it like? Stuff. Oh, the parade was held right here, and a lot of people had come to see it, just like always. Hmm. So everything was ordinary that day. Stuff. Huh. Something was flashing over and over? Do you mean the flash of cameras? I could see camera flashes being startling. But if it was a normal occurrence, I don't think it would be enough to cause a Pokemon to go wild. Do you think you can tell us about Cha- No, sorry. Do you think you can tell us about Charizard when it suddenly became wild? Stuff. It was as if it wasn't the same Charizard anymore. Even its eye color changed. What color was its eyes? Stuff. They were red. Now that's testimony that- Now that's testimony that gets you thinking. Red eyes. I see. So many of your friends have gone away and you feel lonely, huh? Everything changed here after the accident, didn't it? Stuff. Oh. So you don't know where it is. Stuff. Huh. You hugged it once while playing. And you feel it's been avoiding you since then? Is Linton really shy or something? Hmm, Stuffle it does seem pretty strong. I think I'd be a bit afraid of being hugged by it too. Well, it's definitely in here. Like, it's in here. You think this burn mark could be... Yeah, most likely due to Charizard's flames. It could also be in the sewers. Cause, um... Can you tell us what you know? Kazam. Charizard was normally full of energy and vigor, but after it went wild, it seemed limp and completely drained, huh? Maybe it wore itself out or something. 
Hmm, well, it may be the case. What would have caused it to push itself to that point? There's something odd about the whole thing. Apparently, Alakazam used its moves during its shows to impress the audience. Now that you mention it, it was floating upside down just now, too. Kaz. It's, it says that it can use psychic powers. It must have been a pretty amazing show. Kazam. It says Litten constantly changes its home on a whim. So it doesn't know where it could be. That's unfortunate. I hope we can figure out where it's where it is somehow. Let's keep asking around. I'm sure we'll find a hint somewhere. He's in our car. No? Loudred. Apparently, Charizard was pretty excited to be the main Pokemon for the parade. It was always dependable, and all of the people trusted it too. But then it went berserk. There's definitely something not right about this whole thing. Loud. Oh, you were helping out with with the park announcements. It certainly has voice that carries. Loudred. Oh, you always put out, you always put your heart into your shouts, huh? You want to be like it? You want to be like it? Who's this it you mentioned? Loud. It says there's a Loudred on cannon duty near the Ferris wheel. Cannon duty? Yep, that's what it's saying. It says it dreams of being given that duty someday, too. Not sure what it means, though. What's that? It sounds like Litten is a troublemaker, just like Smurgle said. It breathes fire on everything and leaves a scorch mark everywhere. That sounds like a bit more than what I'd call a troublemaker. I hope it'll listen to us. Scorch marks, huh? The door is slightly open. Maybe it's inside. Could be. Let's see. Litton, are you in there? Hey, Litton. Oh, there he is. He's a little troublemaker. Meow. Meow. And no need to be so defensive. We're not here to cause trouble. We just want to find out more about the accident. Meow. Huh. You can't trust anyone who's with a human. Huh. That's problematic. Hey, Lynn. I understand if you can't trust me. But don't you want to find out why Charizard suddenly went berserk? Meow? Oh, this is Tim. We're trying to find out exactly what happened on that day. We'd really appreciate it. If you could tell us what you know. Meow. Were you part of the parade too? Meow. I see. So you weren't part of the parade, but you did see the accident. You heard a loud noise from the main plaza. So you rushed to see what was happening. That's when you saw Charizard going on a rampage. Flam meow. That's pretty good. Meow. I mean, Litten, Lights, 
in maybe with Flam Meow. That's a banger right there. Was there anything strange about Charizard? Doesn't matter whether it was before or after the parade. Anything you can remember. Wow. What? Charizard didn't remember anything. Didn't remember going on a rampage. That's interesting. Just like the other incidents you've come across. It didn't remember. You really like this place, huh? You had a lot of friends and got along well with the people that visited it too. Wow. In between shows, you and Charizard would show people tricks with your flames. It must have been a great team. Meow. Do you know, are you familiar with the French names for Gen 1 Pokemon? Not at all. I played the English version of Pokemon, not the French one. In fact, I never play French translated games. Always in English. No, no, no. You've got the wrong idea. Charizard did not go. Sorry about that. I didn't go full Pikachu. Huh? No, no, no. You got the wrong idea. Charizard didn't go berserk like that because it didn't like you anymore. I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it took the rampage that way. We need to solve this case for the, the sake of all Pokemon here. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. 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 We gathered some information. Open up your case notes and let's think about it. Okay. Okay, Pikachu. Tell me about the case. If R was the cause, there would have been telltale signs on Charizard. Let's organize all our testimony. Any reason for preferring English translations for games you're playing on your own? Well, it's it's pretty simple, you know. I'm like I'm fluent in English, so just playing in English is natural for me. I've always played games in English. You oh, you shut you shut your damn mouth right now. Second thing. Uh, if I ever need information about a game, like game facts or whatever, playing in a different language is the worst if you want information. Because sometimes they just translate the words of some items or some weapons or some monsters. And you're like, I have no idea what this is. What caused the accident at the park? as the other Pokemon that became aggressive because of R, which indicates that Charizard was also under the influence of R. Let me, let me hydrate here. This is doing the Pikachu voice is killing my throat. was involved after all. Yeah, and my dad must have figured that out too. That's why he came here. 
Alakazam. Oh, what do you want, Alakazam? Alakazam. Have you figured out what caused the accident? Yeah, Charizard wasn't acting of his own will. Someone forced him to run amok. Kazam. What's Alakazam saying? I hope it doesn't start disliking humans or anything. Kazam. You suspected as much. The other, the other visitor was probably here to investigate that as well. The other visitor? Does that mean... Yeah, probably Harry. Apparently a man with a Pikachu came here a few months back. Let's see if we can find out more. A person with a Pikachu? Who could it be? Kazam. About Harry. Could you tell us what you remember? Anything at all? Alakazam. Huh? You say I'm the I'm that Pikachu that came around a while back? So my dad did come here. Yeah, although I still don't remember anything. Hey, Alakazam, when when you saw my partner and me, how did we seem? Kazam, your dad is Charizard. That's right. Charizard and your mother is Vaporeon. We were pretty agitated. Man, what in the world could have happened to Harry? Kazam. I guess it doesn't know. Let's check to see if any of the other Pokemon here saw my dad. No! Loudener. Oh, you don't remember seeing anyone? Huh. Huh. If he was my partner, I should know more about him than you. If I did, I wouldn't be asking you the questions. Can't be helped, I guess. Let's go ask other Pokemon. No, we're not going to talk about breeding Pokemon here. That's for L L N S. Oh, you don't remember seeing anyone? Dad probably didn't take his time here. Baba. What? You saw me with someone else? Tell me about it. Trubbish. Sauce gives something to Boonery? Boonery? The Bo Boonary is a Pokemon, right? I wonder if it still lives in this park? Trub. No, it's on the... Oh, is that the... It's at the Ferris wheel in the back? What are we waiting for? Let's go, Tim. Are we going to have a Ferris wheel... Ferris wheel incident? The <laughs> Pikachu's gassed. Why are we moving all this? Oh, are we gonna bring the car up the stairs? Baneri should be up ahead somewhere. Baneri. Yeah, but the rain is really starting to come down. I hope it doesn't get any worse. You spoke too soon. Come on, let's go. Yeah. But why are we in a rush? I wonder what that Pokemon is. It's a Heliolisk. Lisk? It certainly seems distressed. I wonder what's happened. Heliolisk? What? Buderi's in trouble? It's trapped on the Ferris wheel. Bun Bun. Looks like he got stuck up there. This ain't good. 
We need to help it. Yes, in a thunderstorm. Why did it go up on this rusty old Ferris wheel anyway? Liz. To watch the city. Oh, I see. Ever since Charizard went away, you've moved the Ferris wheel every day for Buneri, huh? What's Buneri looking for, though? Could it be? My guess is it's waiting for Charizard to come back. Lisk. Oh, you were in charge of creating the power, huh? You say you sent the electricity to the Ferris wheel through a machine people made? The Lisk. This Ferris wheel had never broken down like this before. Maybe the machine over there got damaged, huh? So that's why it's freaking out. Is the machine it mentions the electric board? Maybe it was damaged by the lightning. It could have been anything, really. It's a ride that hasn't seen any maintenance in a long time. Let's go have a look anyway. Oh, that's the cannon guy. Oh, so you came this way too, huh? Loud? Oh, you're a different Loudred from the one in the main plaza. You're just as loud anyway. Well, loud. You say you're even louder? And you're on cannon duty? Oh, so you use your voice to fire off the cannon. I never thought something like that was even possible. What's happened to Benary? It's been trapped in the Ferris wheel. Loud, loud, loud. Whoa. Okay, it's really worried about Benary. Yeah, but its volume is a bit much. I hope it calms down a little bit. Loud. So you use this cannon to launch the fireworks, huh? Sounds like your voice has enough power to blow things away. It's more than just a loud voice, huh? Loud red. It says it will work with the loud red in the plaza to help out with the parade sometimes. It says its own voice is better. But that other loud red has a good potential too. Is this going to be a puzzle? This is, this must be how electricity is sent to the Ferris wheel. Looks like it'll work just fine. Huh? Thought we had to repair this unless it's, it's there in the little cabin. Is this the control room for the Ferris wheel? Sure looks like it. Something might be broken in here too. Let's check. We need to get Buneri to safety. You'll need to get it open first. Oh my God, it's Joltix. Jump, 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 jump. I wonder what those were. They ran away too fast for me to get a good look. And they were not gen one Pokemon, so you wouldn't know. Oh, they were Pokemon called Joltik. Huh? Tim, look at this. The wires for the machine are all cut up. You're right. Is this what caused the Ferris wheel to break down? That would make the most sense. The Joltik that just bolted all had something in their mouths. I bet those were the parts of the machine. If we can get them back, we may be able to connect the wires again. Right, let's go after the Joltik then. How can we move the Ferris wheel? Well, we'll find that out next time. Because we're going to call it there for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because we're going to be continuing it, continuing this tomorrow. Hopefully the voice box will be repaired by then. 
And uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs>